Evidence comes to light from the Corey Bigsby murder trial. Last week, a jury found the Hampton father guilty of killing his three-year-old son, Cody. Now, Alex Little Hale shows us newly released video evidence from the fourth no-body trial in Hampton Roads history. Yeah, Janet, we're taking you even closer into the courtroom and the years-long saga to find what exactly happened to Cody Bigsby. Cody's father, Corey, says he's innocent from behind bars, even after prosecutors convicted him of charges of murder and concealing a body. But this new footage played during the trial reveals part of why the jury ultimately found Corey guilty. For the first time, you're seeing what law enforcement saw in the early efforts to find Cody Bigsby. This is the video evidence that helped prosecutors land a guilty verdict against Cody's father, Corey Bigsby. So you said you saw him last night, right? Yes. Where was he at? Was he? He was upstairs in the room sleep. I'll show you where he was at sleep. Here, you can see Corey telling first responders he hadn't seen his son on the morning of January 31st, 2022. He claimed this upstairs bedroom is where Cody slept, but that Corey didn't know where he could have gone. I woke up this morning probably around about a little after seven. And when I came up here to get my coat, I noticed that my son wasn't in the room. So when you woke up at seven, your son wasn't in the room, right? Corey would eventually become a person of interest in the case. This video from an interrogation room shows investigators casting doubt on Corey's story from the beginning. I believe something happened to Cody. He just slipped down the stairs. He hurt himself. He fell out that window. Authorities eventually arrested Corey on separate child neglect charges before charging him with Cody's death. And in one of the most pivotal moments of the trial. You can't write it yourself? I can write it myself. Can I give you this paper? Here is Corey writing one of several confession letters last year where he admits to finding his son unresponsive and taking the body away before calling for police assistance. In an interview with 13 News Now, Corey maintains he was coerced into that confession. Whatever I got to do to get out of here. So they kept telling me, write a confession letter then. Corey's sentencing is set for June 18th. I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Alex, thanks.